What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. I thought I was gonna just record when I got into the Bahamas, but I decided that I wanted to take you guys on getting ready for vacation and what I do to get ready for vacation. Some things I've changed in my life because I've been going over that a lot and just updating you guys. So we have a lot to do this week. Um, I leave in, let's see. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I leave in three days and I have a lot to get done and I have a lot of appointments. First appointment of the day is we are going to go get my nails done. I put a post here. Let me show you guys. I put an Instagram story up asking you guys what kind of nails I should get and I still can't decide. Um, let me show you. It's either between these nails, which are white, they just have like a cute little line there at the top. I probably might get like a, them a little bit shorter, but... <laughs> Look at my nails right now. I mean, these nails and these just plain light pink almond shaped nails. I don't ever get almond shaped nails because I have long hands in general. So when I get square nails, they look, they make my hands not look so long. But when I get almond nails, they make my hands look a lot longer, if that makes sense. So I'm leaning towards the white ones, the square ones, because... I don't know, I feel more comfortable in them, and also on Instagram, the white ones are winning by far. We have a nail appointment, and then you guys, my hair, look at how long it's getting. If you guys have followed me through my hair journey, I have gone through some really, really unhealthy hair. A few years ago, I dyed my hair, tried to dye my hair blonde, and I hated it, and it was crusty and dry, and it got damaged, and so I cut it all off. I cut it up to here. Um, like last year, I think, and it's grown out. It's super long. It's super healthy. Oh, I did not do a very good job straightening it, but I am going to get my hair cut today, and I'm not, I can't decide exactly what I want to do. I think I'm just going to get long layers, um, and maybe some bangs, like not like straight across bangs, but like long curtain bangs, so we're going to go do that today, and I'm running a tad bit late. I also got to stop by the coffee stand, so... You guys, let's get going with the rest of our day. Can we just take a minute to look at how much snow we just got last night? Looks like I'm gonna be taking this gal today. First stop, we just pulled up to De Leon's Food. It's a Mexican restaurant and grocery store. If you guys are local and you have not eaten food here before and you love Mexican food like I do, you have to come here. They have the best food, but this is where we get our breakfast burritos made and they are, that's why I'm so obsessed with them. They are so good. Um, they're very like super clean ingredients. I have never been a burrito person ever and I absolutely love these burritos. I have one almost every single day. We pick up the burritos here, so let me go inside, grab these, and we'll go to the stand. Okay, I made it to the studio. This is in downtown Spokane, and this is where I get my eyelashes done, my hair done, and my nails. So this is the goat for literally everything. Um, but I, like I said, I'm running late, so I'm gonna go inside. I legit had no time to record anything. When you go to the studio and you go get your nails done, you're gonna be meeting with Tin. He is literally the best guy ever to get your nails from done. But I got my white square nails, and they have like just, uh, if they would, focus they just have like a tiny little white line at the top they're super simple they're a little bit long for me I told him I wanted this this length and I and I agreed to it but now that I'm looking at it, I'm like 
when I go on vacation, I like them to be a little bit smaller, so I kind of wish I would have went smaller, but it's fine. They turned out really good. They're nice and classy, just how I like, but you guys, we just pulled up to Ulta Beauty, and I have a few things to get, so I told you guys I have been switching to a lot of all-natural stuff without seed oils, of course, and also that is my makeup brand as well, and what I have on my face right now is Bare Minerals. Um, complexion rescue it's like a cream and I have absolutely loved that if you don't have acne prone skin then you're fine to use it but I have been using it for like months now and my my face lady my esthetician told me she's like you have small little tiny pimples everywhere which is usually caused from like a lotion or uh, makeup or you know shampoo or something that has oils in it that's clogging your skin look into all your makeup products and she gave me a list that are not good for your skin and one of them was the bare minerals loose powder is okay for acne prone skin but all of the other stuff has ingredients in it that could clog um, pores if you're prone to acne so I've been using the one I looked at the ingredients the complexion rescue does have acne causing ingredients in there which I'm super sad about because I really like bare minerals I like that it's all minerals and it's very safe for your skin but it also can cause acne so I'm gonna look into the loose powder stuff um, she also sent me let's see the other brand she sent me was Ipria. Ipria? I don't know if they carry that at Ulta. I'm gonna look, but yeah, I gotta get something that's safe for acne. Cause yeah, I don't know if you can tell, but there's just like a lot of little tiny ones up there that I need to take care of. So let's go shopping and get some stuff, maybe for vacation too. The next morning. I have been so bad at updating you guys. So it is the next day. I have just been running around like a crazy woman pretty much. So I ended up getting my hair cut and it turned out so good. So we have short layers, well thick layers, I guess you would say, thick layers. You guys can see that. She didn't take off much length, but it's just like super flowy and it's literally everything I wanted. So she nailed it with my hair. And then secondly, I got my eyelashes filled. Those were really bad. My skin is crazy right now. I actually just pulled up to my eyebrow appointment. So right now I have um, makeup on my eyebrows to make them dark, but I have naturally blonde hair. So I have naturally blonde eyebrows and I get them tinted and laminated, tinted and laminated. And it makes a huge difference. It doesn't make them look fake. It makes them look real. So this is the before and then I'll show you guys the after. Here is the after you guys. So I don't have any makeup on right now and these look like natural, like they are not my hair, but it's dyed and then it's also laminated. So it stays in place. It's my favorite thing that I get done out of everything. But anyways, I just made it back home and I'm on my phone vlogging right now. Hi Coda. Hi sweetie. Hi baby. I'm on my phone, so sorry if the quality is a little bit bad, but before vacation, I always clean my house, deep clean it. I want to come back to a super clean house. It's not that bad right now. This is what it looks like. Like most people, you would look at this and be like, oh yeah, it's not even that bad. But I actually like to deep clean. Like I like to, you know, sweep, mop, dust, um, get the disinfectant out, like scrub the showers. I like to go all in. So I'm making Jamie come home and she's gonna help me with that. So I'm actually making a taco right now. This is taco meat from last night. So I'm just heating that up and then I'm making a corn tortilla with my stuff that I put on it and then I'll get started on cleaning the house. So I ended up getting the whole entire house clean and ready to go for us to leave on vacation for 10 days in the Bahamas. So. I'm actually going to end this video out here and I will see you guys next in the Bahamas. If you like this video, remember to hit the like button, subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.